Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix Forza Horizon 5. Not launching, it's kind of annoying actually. It's super annoying. You just want to play the game, enjoy the game, okay? Just enjoy the game by having this problem, and it's kind of annoying. So, I have for you a couple of uh, methods to fix this problem. Now, these methods that I'm about to show you are methods that I've tried myself and it worked for me, so I hope it's gonna work for you as well. So, Let's jump right into the video. And also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I'll try always try to show you, to share with you the best tips, the best methods to fix, uh, and, and and also tutorials about different softwares that I that I uh, work with. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. So now what you have to do, this is the first method that I have always recommended people to do to try is to head over to Windows. And I'm not telling you necessarily to update your windows, which it is important, but there's always something that I always check when I have to fix someone's computer and there's some problems that I, um, this, sometimes I'm doing that for some clients and sometimes from, for friends and I'm always checking uh, advanced options. And then here, optional updates. Usually there's a bunch of different, uh, a huge list of driver updates waiting for you to install and download. Just have to make sure you check them and then click on download and install. This is worked usually for me and uh, worked when I've tried, when I install the latest updates, usually some gear, gear problems and crashes related to the game usually got fixed. And, um, also make sure you go to the game as well and when you go to the game make sure you run the game in in uh, as 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 administrator and now let me show you the next uh, method and uh, what you have to do is to go to device manager and you can also always from here and update your driver all right And the next method is make sure you don't land. Make sure you don't land DirectX and use your runtime web installer. Just click on the download button. And now the next one is also Visual Microsoft Visual C++. And make sure you install from here. And also for AMD user, make sure you install this one. And for GeForce users, make sure you install this tool g4 drivers automatic driver updates very useful stuff and this is hopefully is gonna work for you and hopefully it's gonna fix the problem that's what i've done always when there's some crashes because usually there's uh, um crashes usually are related to drivers that aren't up to date but as well as you can also try to just uh, deactivate your window or your your sorry your advanced uh, you know antivirus some, sometimes there's some programs that can interfere with the game so make sure you close all the apps are running in the background that you don't need even if there's an antivirus make sure you just disable it and see if there's any changes so that's the end of this video make let's leave your thoughts down in the comment section or like to read your feedback and uh, if it worked so yeah